So I wanted to show you guys um, something that I stumbled upon. I'm not sure if it was there months ago when I did my uh, video on the text panel. I'm pretty sure it probably was, but I skipped over it. So I'm here to show you another option. So what I've done is I've typed out these three lines of text and this one here I added an offset and I um, welded it, okay? Because, you know, it changes text to an object. Um, and if I go to, let me go to Window, Project Info, Fonts, it only shows that I have two fonts here and that's because this one is welded. But, wait for it, if I come here and I go to this project and I click on here, it shows all three, even though it's welded. So I thought that was great because now, even if you weld your text, if you add a shadow to it and weld it, if you add an offset to it and weld it, it is still going to show up here in your text panel. So I wanted to point that out for you guys. Thanks for watching. So I'm adding on to the end of this video because I should have um, noted that once you save your project, if I go to, I made a new, um, a new project because um, I had deleted the other one I was working with. So here I have the three texts, and if I go to this project, and go to this project, or go to, I'm sorry, the text document, this project, and click on it, you can see that it only shows the two. It doesn't show the one that's welded because it's considered an object and not text any longer. So uh, a way to save this information is go to Window Project Info, and type it in your notes, okay, before you save your project, that or at least close it out, okay. That way, um, you still have that information here of all three fonts, and the one that's welded could be put here because, again, it's going to only show in uh, your project info those two fonts because this isn't considered a font any longer, okay. I hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching.